We're glad to have you back. You're still watching news today here on Arise News. And it's that time uh, during the program when we we'll talk sports. And we have Aaron Akerajala here to discuss sports. Aaron, glad to have you join us. Yes, uh, thank you very much. Good afternoon to you. Uh, today, good afternoon to you, Indy. Good afternoon to you, Kenne. Mm -hmm. And we've got quite a lot to go through. And rather un um, unfortunately, okay, let's probably start it off from that particular note. Um, that's the fact that Nigeria's former goalkeeper, trainer, and assistant coach Joe Eriko has died at the age of 72. Eriko, nicknamed Jogo Bonito, passed on on Tuesday morning in Lagos, surrounded by his family after a brief illness. Eriko began his career in football with the Nigeria Police Force, NEPA, the Nigeria Railways, Electric Connectors of Nigeria and Julius Berger, where he won several diadems. He attracted national team's interest and selectors back in 1968, where he was picked up to be a man goalpost alongside Prince Zion Ugufeyimi by coach Tiko Delasovic for the 1976 Africa Cup of Nations stage in Ethiopia. Coach Eriko is survived by his wife and four children, and his burial arrangements will be announced in the coming days. Now, joining us to discuss about another fallen hero is Super Regal's media officer, Baba Femiraji, who is joining us here from here in Lagos. A very good morning to you, or rather, a good afternoon to you. Yeah, good afternoon to you, Aaron. Now, please... Um, we want to just hear from you concerning this man, the passing of, jo um, of Jogo Bonito, as they like to call him. I was almost saying Jogo Bonito, I don't say Joe Eriko, but he's fondly known as Jogo Bonito. Talk to us about the surrounding situations leading up to this particular demise. Well, from what we got out uh, from the wife, that we spoke with, um, uh, at some point we got information, talked about him being ill, and then malaria. And afterwards, she said he went to bed. After some treatment, went to bed and then uh, tried to wake him, did not wake. Uh, well, that, that's the way life is. Well, you know, when, when the news came on board, really sad news. However, we must take uh, join the fact that he really served Nigeria uh, in various capacities with the national team. I remember my, my days growing up as a young reporter, a young reporter, and... Uh, the first time I tried to interview him at the National Stadium in Lagos, uh, I went to him and said, sir, I want to have an interview. He said, no. That was some 14 years back. He said, no, you're, you are still a chick. When you, are, when you grow to be a cockerel, come and talk to me. <laughs> and then, and then, then uh, two weeks later, I, went, I saw him at the National Stadium again. Right. I went to meet him. I said, sir, I want to interview you. He said, okay, just ask me my name. And I said, okay, what's your name? So I said, Joe Eriko, a.k.a. Jogo Bonito Exponent. So that's all for the day. Come back in five days for your next day, for your full interview. You know, it, it, it was an interesting, an interesting man, trust me. A very interesting man, always smiling. Trust me, uh, the nation has lost yet another very good tactician. Of course, you know him. Alongside the late Shalom and Stephen Keshi, what they did for Nigerian football, uh, technically, uh, you, you can't just um, not show it aside, but uh, make God rest his soul. And I, I must actually say this, Baba Femiraji, it's unfortunate that um, the sporting community here in Nigeria has been thrown into deep mourning because just days ago it was announced that a former minister of sports, Balabawa Kaoji, also passed away. Now, Joe Rico and it's rather unfortunate. But tell me, what will Joe Rico be most remembered for? For those who don't know him, who probably did not belong to that old era that's probably celebrated a man of his great talents. A great national team goalkeeper, a very good coach, and an exponent of the beautiful game. Do you know what Jogo Bonito means? The beautiful game. <laughs> so that's it. Beautiful game. Mm. So um, an exponent of uh, good football. Uh, he loved grass, uh, grassroots football. Uh, we always encourage good talents whenever he sees one. Uh, Nigerians will always remember him for someone that really worked tirelessly uh, to ensure the national team did well. 
I like the, the press release we had from the communication department uh, 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 through my boss, Dr. Demola Olajuwe, uh, where he highlighted everything, uh, where the GA, General Secretary eulogized um, Jogo Bonito explained himself, Joe Rico, who, every, the things he did. Remember in 2002 when we were in a precarious situation, Nigeria was close to failing to qualify for the World Cup. And then it was the trio of uh, the late Shaiba Modu and the late Stephen Keshi, and now the late Jogo Bonito that saved the day for Nigeria. So you can imagine a whole lot of things they did for the national team. Really, the nation mourns them, not just the sports fraternity, not just the football fraternity, even we, the journalists, the sports journalists, we, we, we mourn him because <laughs> Jogo Bonito in his element is, a, is an interviewer's delight. If, imagine you talking to Jogo Bonito on your live show now. <laughs> uh, Aaron, <laughs> you will laugh tired. <laughs> that just means... All right, what is it? Many thanks to you for joining us today. And once again, our condolences to the family of the late Joe Errico.